Okay, we're going to talk about probability. All right. Well, we aren't. I am. And probability refers to the chance of an event happening. And that chance can range from 0%, which that means it definitely won't happen, to 100%, meaning it'll happen for sure. So let's look at some examples. Uh, in the weather we might have a 20% chance of rain. Well that's closer to this value isn't it? So we would say eh, it's probably not going to happen. There's not much of a chance. We might have a 50% chance of rain. So I'm right in the middle here. Right? But I might not bring my umbrella. Depends if I want to take a chance. Or we might have a 90% chance of rain. And in that case, we'd be pretty certain that it's going to rain. And if I don't want to get wet, I bring my umbrella. If I could find it, or I didn't give it to my daughter. Now, in statistics, we use p-values. Same as probability. Bet you can guess, hint, hint, what P stands for. If you need a bigger hint, I'll move the arrow. Okay. So, we have a 20% chance of rain. Well, the only difference is here we would express it as 0 0.20. Or a 50% chance, we would say 0 decimal 50. Or a 90% chance, we 0 decimal zero. Okay? I guess you can see the pattern there. It's just a percentage expressed as a decimal. So that's how we do it in statistics, but let's give an example. We have, oh I don't know, 10,000 males and 10,000 females and we're going to compare them on their verbal ability. Some evidence suggests that suggests that females have stronger verbal abilities than males. So let's see what happened here. So we have oh, a mean of 75 uh, plus or minus, remember uh, the standard deviation, plus or minus let's say 19. Okay, And the reason I write plus or minus is remember this normal distribution here, there would be the 75 mean there and then plus or minus 19 on each side. Those are the standard deviations there that I'm dotting out there. For the females, let's say they had a score of 83 and much narrower range of scores, plus or minus 9. All right, so we run a t-test called an independent t-test because these are independent samples. They're not dependent on each other. I'll talk about that later. So what will we get? Well, let's look at three possibilities. You might get a p-value, and they'll give you an exact value of 0 0.25. Or let's do this one, 0 0.09 or zero decimal to be accurate, zero two. So what do these figures mean? Well, in this case, there is a 25% chance. See that? 25, remember the percentage conversion? A 25% chance that these means are equal. It's not much of a chance, really, is it? In this case, it's a 9% chance that those means are equal. In this case, it's a 2% chance, almost no chance that those means are equal. And that's what we're trying to figure out, are they equal or not? But so what, how do we, we work this out? Well, statistici stat statisticians are very conservative, and their cutoff, acceptable cutoff rate, is less than... 0 0.05 or it's usually referred to as less than 0 0.05.
Okay, so what does that mean in this case? Well, in this case, we won't accept this p-value uh, because 0.25 is, is not less than decimal 0 0.5. And so we would say that though, we, we could not say that they were statistically different. And the same with this, we got that value. We could not say that they were statistically different because it doesn't match or meet this criteria, very strict criteria actually. In this case, there's only a 2% chance that these means are equal. So we're willing to say that yes, it does match this test. And then we can say that males and females are statistically different. More specifically, females have significantly, they would, we might use that term, significantly higher scores than males. Significant difference, significantly different, okay? You'll see that expression, this word for sure. And when you say something is significantly different, it meets this very strict criteria and therefore we can say that these means are different with some pretty high confidence. Uh, in this case, 95% chance that we're, we're right. And, and st statistics, they have to be that conservative, right? Because what if you're doing tests on, on um, oh, I don't know, uh, the effectiveness of certain drugs on, on cancer or, or whatever, you'd really want strict uh, p-values to make sure that we were right okay because there's all sorts of errors you you also you just keep in mind you can see p-values of even smaller you might see in a paper 0 0.01 or even p less than 0 0.001 so in this case we're really really sure that these means are statistically different and that's the way you use p-values in statistics